Hello everybody, welcome to TechSQ. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 error 0x887A0005. So, if you want to know how we can fix this weird error code, I recommend to watch this video. And please go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Okay guys, to fix this Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 error, first of all just go ahead and open up button in Launcher or Steam um, and then just go ahead and click on Library. And now just go ahead and look to find Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 from here. Actually I play uh, Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 from Batonet, but if you play it from Steam just go ahead and rock click on it and then click on Properties. And now click on local files and then just go ahead and click on verify interpretity of game files and for the first solution just go ahead and uh, verify call of duty warzone 2.0 files and then click on general and for launch options just go ahead and enter this command minus d3 d element and just go ahead and play call of duty warzone 2.0 with StarTix element and it's the first solution i know to fix this issue and if you play Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 from Batonet, just go ahead and open up Batonet. And now just go ahead and click on Options from here. And to verify uh, Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 files from Batonet, just go ahead and click on Scan and Repair. And um, just go ahead and click on Scan and Repair and then click on Game Settings. Click on Additional Common Line Argument, just go ahead and check this option and for the uh, first method just go ahead and enter minus D3 D element to play Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 with DirectX element on Batonet. And it's the first solution I know to fix this issue. Uh, but if that didn't help you, just go ahead and click on options again. Just go down and click on options. And now click on showing explorer. Just go ahead and select retail folder. Look to find cut application. Right click on it and click on properties. Click on compatibility. And then just go ahead and uh, check this option to change compatibility mode. And uh, then just go ahead and select Windows 7 or Windows 8. And also guys, uh, make sure to check the several full screen optimizations and also run this program as an administrator from here. And for the second solution, all you have to do is just go ahead and change compatibility settings. And then go down and click on apply and then click on OK. And also guys, you can do the same thing with uh, ST. Just click on apply and then click on OK. And now, if that didn't help you too, I recommend to just go ahead and update your graphic card driver and your Windows to the latest version. To update your graphic card driver, if you have a NVIDIA graphic card, just go ahead and download GeForce Experience. And then you should be able to update your graphic card driver to the latest version from GeForce Experience. And if you have an AMD or Intel graphic card, just go ahead and search on your Google Chrome or other web browsers with the Intel or AMD website and then you should be able to update your graphic card driver. And to update your Windows, just go down on your desktop and just go ahead and type check for update on search box. Alright, just go ahead and type check for updates and then click on check for updates and now you should be able to update your windows to the latest version from here. And it's the last solution I know to fix this Call of Duty Warzone error. Anyway, thanks for watching video. I hope this video helped you to fix this Call of Duty Warzone error. 0x887A0005 Please go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace out.